Hey guys, Blue Dagger here. Um, I'm basically going to make a kind of, not that short, but decent length video showing how to make a quick battle, um, a quick battle, um, deck. Um, you need a lot more cards than normal decks because the attacking goes by a lot quicker, um, the rules are not near the same. Well, they kind of are, but they aren't at the same time. Alright, so I have a crap load of cards. I'll, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. So that's. I don't even know. Uh. Uh, um, eight times eight equals, I have 64 cards out right now, um, that's four cards larger than a normal deck, um, well, right now I do anyways, um, but yeah, I have, like, two more, two or three more cards that I want to add, but I'm not gonna, um, you can play it, like, any other one. Um, I just got a bunch of random, 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 random cards, because, really, if I, if this was my real deck that I personally use for quick battles, oh, no, it would be all fire, grass, and water, and a couple of electric, because I, I like Ampharos, Ampharos Prime, and Luxray GL Level X, and, um, I'm an idiot for saying this, but I also like to use Pikachu, and I like to use this old Jolteon, because, really, he does, uh, 20 times 4, wait, yeah, 4, yeah, he does 80 damage, that's pretty good for Jolteon, um, <laughs> Glaceon, my Glaceon doesn't even do that much damage. Focus. Yeah. But, yeah, see? Reflect energy. Its highest attack does 40 damage. So. You know what? Whatever. Um. Yeah. This is actually a pretty cool little thing. So, basically, um. First, we have to get these all into a deck so I'll do that <laughs> um I actually do did put quite a few really good cards in here like uh I put my Arceus level X I put my um 150 damage on board um I did I, I said Arceus but um I put in my oh I didn't put in my 100 damage Nido King well, uh, I have my 80 damage Nido King. <laughs> I have some good Pokemon in this. Um, right now, I lost my playmat. I can't find it. And my playmat was actually really nice because it was two people. So, uh, the other person didn't need to bring their own playmat, which I thought was actually really nice because uh, uh, when I went over to some of my friend's house, Sometimes I had to go without, so I just bring mine and be all like, "Yeah, woo! You brought one, sweet!" And then they use it. Yeah, but I have my uh, Reverse Hollow, 80 damage Nido King. I put it. I did put in some energies, but um, it's because energies play a different role in quick battle. All right, so I'm back, and I have my deck set up. So, well, this isn't my personal deck. I might use it if you guys want me to. I'll do a live battle later today with one of my friends. But, um, yes, I actually have friends. Shocker! Um, all right, so, wait. Yep, camera can see it. Uh, need to use... One little thing that I used yesterday for some for some videos. Yeah. 
So, basically, I have Leafeon, Umbreon, Roserade, Coughing, Persian, Bear Tick, Dark Energy, Trainer, Scolipede, Trainer, Supporter, Nidoking, for Alligator, Bronze or Trainer, Pachirisu, Energy, Crack Crack, Zwilus, Trainer, Charizard, Pidgeotto, Starly, Geodude, Arceus, Arceus, Energy, Luxray, Alakid, Blitzel, Stadium, Supporter, Trainer, Grumpig, Pikachu, Beedoof, Gibble, Mawile, Parniard, Chitat, uh, Trainer, Zangoose, Glaceon, Energy, Supporter, Ampharos, Bastiodon, Trainer, Snorlax, Rotom, Eevee, Jolteon, Electric, Ultra Ball, Ombor, Groudon, Trainer, Leap, Onyx, Tentacool, Servine, Patrat, Energy, Larvitar, and Trainer. I didn't, I just said Trainer. I was very non-specific. Oh, and I have uh, Flareon, Flareon, Leafeon, and his elf as well, and Graveler. All right, so we have all of my cards um, set up. Um, so yeah. Uh, basically, a quick battle goes like this. Alright, so... Uh, sorry if my voice sounds really bad. Uh, I have kind of a bad cold. So basically, we'll do Graveler versus Azelf. I know it's, eh, it's kind of fair. Well, not compared to the newer Gravelers, but this Graveler, yeah, pretty fair. Uh, focus... Yeah, like, the nice thing about iPods is that you can add light and take away light, and, yeah, so it focuses better. See, okay. So, basically, um, actually, this is actually a very bad example, so I need to do Leafeon and Umbreon. Because I need to show you the purposes of energy. So I have a darkness energy for Umbreon and a leaf energy for Leafeon. Alright, so this is what the darkness energy. It's a, for mine, it's a special energy. Um, uh, the darkness energy looks like this. Okay, yep, plus glare. So, darkness energy, and just a standard green grass type energy. So, say I'm using, um, Leafeon, and I attach, uh, do I have another leaf energy? I will check. Because... The thing that I am referring to... Oh, yeah, I do. Alright, so, it's best with two energies because of what it is. It's actually a very bad Leafeon to do sometimes because it is a uh, hollow, holographic card. Yeah. Uh, I need to turn on my lamp real quick. Sorry, guys. Crap. Oopsies. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I have it, and basically, this is only part one, because I only have ten minutes left, or five minutes, um, you add two energies, and then you can choose what you want to do, so, Say, I add one energy to Leafeon for health. It gives her ten more health, so she has a hundred. And then I add another one, and say, I want to help out Soothing Scent. The one grass and two no-color energies. I'd use that attack along with a uh, energy, and... Instead of only doing 60 damage, it would do 70. So, uh, 
take that into aspect with Umbreon. So basically, uh, she does pretty significant damage. So I'd say just upper health so she can be more of a tank because Umbreon is one of my favorites other than Eevee and Raichu and Arceus and a lot of other ones. Uh, yeah, so basically you just kind of move this to the side, add this. Uh, and yes, I built this out of Legos. I will show you how to do it in a separate video. Basically, uh, no glare. Okay. Uh, reduced glare. Anyways, not, no glare, but. <laughs> uh, so now she has 110 HP, which actually is very good for her because uh, um, I have to find a Pokemon that's. Um. Yeah, I found a better Leafeon to use, because it's not hollow, or reverse hollow, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. Right, sorry guys, I can't find any... <laughs> sorry, I can't find any Pokemon that really are... Um, Oh, yeah, Rotom. Alright, so I have Rotom. So, well, eh, this is actually a very bad example. Unless I had a lot more of the energies. Yeah, this is actually a very bad example. <laughs> because it would, it would already kill him. Well, um, well, whatever. Let's pretend that these energies are for him and they add 20 instead so 80 100 so now they're both at equal health so basically you have to pretend these two are uh, lightning I can't find any lightning and I'm not going over to my binder over there in the abyss over there I'm not gonna go uh, to my binder to find some. So basically, if I use Slashing Strike, which does 80 damage, it would not kill him, but it would because of. Well, say I had energies attached to it, and um, so an energy, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so it has uh, 90 damage instead of uh. 80, so say he has 100 health, so say Rotom, Rotom has 100, 100 health, and then he could, um, is this a hollow? Yeah, that's a hollow, oh, that's cool, I didn't know that, <laughs> um, but yeah, say he has 100 health, say he has 100 health, and, um, yeah, so do 90, he'd have 10 left, but because of his weakness, he would, uh, die. Or be knocked out, or whatever. Or refer to it as. But, uh, let me know in the comments if, um, you want to see me do a battle with one of my friends. And, um, let me know which one looks better. I know this one actually attacks, but, er, wait, what? Oh, well, yeah, it has, um, the tags aren't that good, but it shows up better on the camera, so, um, this one isn't as good, but this one doesn't show up as well on the camera, so, um, post in the comments what you think, uh, comment, subscribe, bye. Let's shoot for 30 likes.